Let's talk about Jimmy Garoppolo. The Niners oh, no. are busy trying to find a trade for him. Jimmy's busy trying to find a trade for him. But here's the thing. There's a deadline here, I think. I was talking about this with Eric Crocker the other day. We didn't know the answer about when you have to be under the salary cap. I found out. When the league year starts. Yes. You have The Niners have to be under the cap by 1 o'clock Pacific time on March 16th, period. And yep. uh, so that's that's 12 days from now. And you know what? It would behoove them to be under the cap two days before that because that's when the legal tampering period starts and a lot of deals are going to get done. So if the Niners want to be players and not lose Lake and Tomlinson and they want to sign that cornerback for $8 to $10 million they're talking about and maybe an offensive tackle too, they're going to have to create the space to do so. There are a million dollars over the cap right now. So, Jimmy, whether it was it's trade, you know, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, I lost you. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say it was interesting, uh, not just a humble brag, right? When we first got in here, we had a, a nice long conversation with Matt Mayoko uh, and Jennifer Lee Chan. But Matt was very upfront with his belief about Jimmy Garoppolo and that if the 49ers were unable to trade him, that they would, in fact, cut him before nice. the start of the league year because of that idea that the money just doesn't make sense without getting his salary off of the books. And so even those that are a bit more conservative in their approach to roster building, roster construction, and criticisms of the organization uh, and voicing speculation, even those a bit more conservative are on that same bandwagon, that it is a, a, a certainty that Jimmy Garoppolo will be moved or released if need be. Yeah, he can't be on the team 12 days from now. And I, I, I started hearing like a couple of weeks ago from the athletic around people saying they're hearing that Jimmy's going to be off the team in a month. Well, whether they heard it or not, I think you could actually just figure it out. Like they have to have cap space. They need to sign a lot of people unless they're content with letting all, they have a ton of free agents, let them all go and not being able to replace any of them and having very few draft picks, then they were going to have to get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo. And I think he knew yes. it. They know it. The whole league knows it. So whether it's a trade for like a seventh round conditional pick or whatever, or, or a release, it's going to happen in the next week and a half, and I'm excited. Yeah, they need they need to try to get that trade to happen for the simple fact that they don't want to eat that seven and a half million either, right? If they were to release Garoppolo, depending upon that injury guarantee, to simply have to eat a substantial portion of that salary would be untenable for a team that's that close up against the cap. I would think that they would rather trade him, get that seven and a half million off the books, as and not worry about any third round compensatory draft pick that they may be missing out on by getting rid of them. To me, I would think that that savings of seven and a half million would be more uh, impactful for the 49ers than the compensatory pick of uh, well, not a compensatory pick, but of losing Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah. And if they can trade him, that's an extra seven and a half million dollars in cap space they can get. Yes. So any yes. draft pick. Like it could be, a, it could be a draft pick swap. I'll give you a six. You give me a six. Let's just make this a trade technically. Right. As, as long as we don't release him, we get more cap space. So if the Niners can pull that off, great. But I don't expect the Niners to get a ton of, a ton of capital. <laughs>